Whoa. Gonna catch me rotten dirty. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. I'm that streamer dude. My friends on Twitch call me Rocky. You can catch me on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. Swing on by the channel. We'd love to say hi to you. I recently bought a nifty little tool that can help you make some really cool shots if you're doing like video, say for YouTube or a pre-recorded video for your streams. But I think it could even have some really cool and unique applications for your live stream setup. And I'm talking about this bad boy right here. This is the Bowmaker Smartphone Gimbal, and I picked it up on Amazon for under $100. I'm gonna act like you've never seen one of these bad boys before and explain to you what it is. So what a gimbal does is that it allows the camera to stay level with the horizon regardless of the movements that you're making with the apparatus you're holding it with, AKA the gimbal. It has tiny little motors, and then this one it has three that keeps it level with the horizon uh, and it just makes for some really cool shots, especially like shots like moving shots, panning shots, that kind of stuff. It's basically like a very, very compact version for your smartphone of the big heavy duty gimbals that they used in movies and in TV shows to get those really cool shots. So I struggled a bit with how I was going to record this video. Obviously, my iPhone has to be in the gimbal. This camera is mounted right here, and I can't like reach over and show you guys. How am I gonna show you guys what I'm doing on the gimbal? And I think that I figured out a pretty practical solution. Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. Okay, hopefully this works, but I got my GoPro and strapped it to my big fat noggin. And I was thinking if we did that, then maybe we could have multiple views of what's going on here. What's on the phone, what I'm doing with the gimbal, and then whatever you can see from that camera. So I'm gonna show you a little bit about, I know it's kind of dark here. Hey Google, turn the stream lights to white. There we go. <laughs> that should hopefully be a little bit better. I'm completely just guessing where the GoPro is, <laughs> is aiming at this point. So I'm gonna act like you've never seen one of these and I'm gonna show you a little bit about what this thing does. If you're just curious about how it works as far as uh, some creative things you can do with your setup, then I'll leave a timestamp in the description below. You can just click that, skip right on ahead. The setup on this bad boy was actually really easy. All you got to do is read the instructions for the most part. The biggest thing that it didn't explain well is whenever you get this all set up and ready to turn on, you want to make sure that the your phone is centered really well here so that it's not leaning one side or the other because then the gimbal has to use more power to try and keep it level with the horizon. So the more center it is, the more battery. Whoa, they, we don't want that kind of up close. <laughs> the more battery it's gonna use uh, trying to keep this level with the horizon. But once you get the app, and once you get this all level, you turn it on, you rolling like Fred Durst, baby. Only like limp gimbal would defeat the purpose a little bit, I think. So we're not gonna cover each and every function that this thing does, just because this isn't supposed to be like a complete product review. But I will go ahead and uh, put some timestamps in the description if you wanna skip ahead to how we're gonna talk about ways you can use it creatively in your setup. So here in the front, uh, you've got this big giant knob that you can kind of tilt your camera up with, you can tilt your camera down with, you can look left, you can look right, to the front, to the back. Now slide. We've got over here on the side, this big giant knob is kind of your focus, so you can focus, uh, you can change your fine focus with it uh, and focus however you want it to be. We've got a zoom function here on the side, if you guys can see that, hopefully with the <laughs> with the GoPro, you can zoom in with it. You can zoom out with it. Um, and then it has different functions that I haven't really played with too much as far as clicking this center button and it's different lock modes. So the way that this thing moves uh, will be, it, it locks the one or both or all three of the different motors in this gimbal so that it moves a little bit different and, and you can get some cool shots with it. So here too, you have like, you can switch it to vertical mode from horizontal mode, which is really cool and it does it very smoothly. So you can switch back and forth. There's different functions here on the camera itself. Let me get this all turned around so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, I may have to stop recording to show all of them off, but like there's different filters. So you can change it from 1080p 60 FPS right here. Let me let it save this video real quick. So you can change it from 1080p to whatever resolution your phone will do. So I have it in 1080p 60, which is more than enough. 
we have all these different filters here that you can do you can mess with your uh whitening you can mess with smoothing i want to say that you can put like uh beauty filters and all that kind of stuff on which if i was thinking i would have done before i had a really close-up shot of my face uh there is gestures and what the gestures does is if you set this down and you walk away you can make like a peace sign and that's how it knows to start recording and you make the peace sign again and it stops recording so it's got some really cool functions you can switch from the back camera to the front camera just like this tap of a button it's got some really really cool things and i think it's you know a gimbal is awesome by itself but when you put in the app and the functionality of some different things that you can do with a smartphone it just takes it to a whole nother level but one of the coolest things that you can do with this app slash gimbal combination we haven't even talked about yet prepare yourself i'm talking about face tracking you can see with the push of a button here i just turn on face tracking like so like so tap the face that i wanted to track because it can track one in a crowd you know what i mean and then watch this thing watch this thing this is not me moving it it literally it will literally move and follow me so i feel like you see where this is going but stay with me it really does an awesome job of following you as well like it's not it's not glitchy it doesn't really have a hard time it does such a good job of following you wherever you go and it, it works for a pretty decent distance too <laughs> try to get away from it dude you can't i bet you can't it's kind of it's, it's quick it's quick you got to stay on your game but yeah just like it sounds like it will keep you centered in the frame and it will keep you in focus so obviously this thing is essential for streamers on the go if you're a mobile streamer you might already have a gimbal if you don't already have a gimbal and you're a mobile streamer like what are you doing like flopping around with a selfie stick dude get to get a gimbal but i think this could be really cool if you used it as a secondary or even a primary webcam if you have a decent phone the video quality on your phone is probably just as good if not better than one of the cheap webcams and you can have the freedom to move and place the camera wherever you want because you can make adjustments on the gimbal to center and focus yourself on the camera I can even show you how to pull it into your OBS studio or slobs without needing to be connected to your computer with wires or the need to even be in the same building. Pick it up midstream, move it around, hop down with your dog and have it look silky smooth. Obviously the next level epicness comes when you combine it being used for a webcam with face tracking. If you're going to use face tracking with the gimbal, you're going to have to have an Android phone with Android 11 or newer or an iPhone 11 or newer. I'm not really sure about other phones, but it would totally be worth giving it a shot. This thing really did impress me with how well it was able to track my face. And actually it tracks me from quite a good distance. It doesn't matter uh, whether I'm going left, right, up, down. I did a ninja roll at one point, but I didn't want to show you because my butt crack kind of fell out. But listen, this thing really did a fantastic job of tracking me. And I think as you can see here, like on gameplay, it actually looks kind of cool the way that the uh, webcam can track you around the room. So me, myself, like I'm a very active gamer, like I get up and move around. And so this is perfect for me. So the reason that you're going to have to have a newer phone is that they just recently added in the newer Androids and the newer iPhones the ability to use the same camera in two different apps. This is an iPhone 7 and they won't let me do it without jailbreaking. <laughs> oh, damn. So what you'll need to do is go to obs.ninja on your phone in the browser. You're going to go into the settings here that it'll bring you to and you're going to go ahead and select your camera. You can do it right here at the top. For me, it's only going to be the front or the back. You may have more options. Uh, you're going to select your audio device or if you even want audio, which is probably a pretty poor idea, and then hit start. You've got your face. You'll see up at the top here, it's going to give you a link. You plug that in as a browser source into OBS and you're good to go. And as you can see here, it has very, very little delay, even though it's wireless. Things like RTMP usually have two to five seconds of delay. So especially if you're going to use a mic that's not on your phone, you're going to want that minimal delay and OBS Ninja is the way to go. All you got to do after you've got OBS Ninja up and going on your phone is open the iSmart Go app that goes with your gimbal. Turn on face tracking, like this video, subscribe to the streamer dude, follow Cobras on Twitch and then do your thing, baby. I hope you guys were able to take something cool away from this video. And I really look excited because you guys are even way more creative than I am. 
I hope that you're able to come up with something creative webcam wise because this the face tracking thing I think just isn't done much number one it would be super perfect for people that are doing like uh say the characters on their streams you know that have like the anime character or character or they're using something like a character creator because when you do a lot of movement with those this will track your face and actually keep that accurate or people that are you know up and very active in their room moving around uh i think that it could have some really cool applications uh for streams like that but even just sitting here gaming to have it follow your face is a really cool thing that you don't see much on twitch so i look forward to you guys that can get that working and i certainly hope that you swing on over to my twitter that is in the description below twitter.com slash cobras which is my stream channel and uh tag me in it i would love to see what you guys can do with it that's where we're gonna call this one guys don't forget to swing over to the twitch drop me a follow i'd love to say hi to you guys We'll have a video very soon on my setup in here. I spent a lot of time on my setup and I wanna go through and just kind of show you guys the different things that I have. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. I wanna show you guys my garage gym that I got set up because I was being way too inactive while I was streaming. Uh, and there's so much more planned. So please like, subscribe, drop me a comment and we'll catch you on the next time. See you later, dude. I met a girl in France and I dropped a poop in my pants. I had to get it out my pants legs so I had to dance. I had a little romance, but it made me sad because she was half girl and half my dad. I don't even know what I'm saying, but I'm spraying spit when I spit my rhymes. That's how I do it all the time because these rhymes is mine. And when I lay it down, it's so fine. It's like I'm divine. You see me climbing the grapevine? <laughs>